So for a short link rescue, two completely different approaches. You can either be on a set of ropes yourself like I am at the moment, get the casualty on you and come down, or you could stay at the top and lower the casualty down. I've gone for the option of getting on a set of ropes here. So if you're rigging the ropes yourself, make sure you rig your anchor knot with a loop relatively short. The higher you can get, the better it's going to be. Uh, this is also assuming that we haven't got any higher anchor points that we can use. We can't choke any slings to get any extra height. Um, and we're going to do it with a single carabiner connection here. So connection wise, I'm going to get a cow's tail and I'm going to put this onto his chest this time. And the main reason for putting it into here is there's just less stuff going on in the waist. Uh, I might normally put a shorter connection onto his chest and then lift him out of this so if it was just a normal aid climb rescue that would work quite well because I'd be nice and high up. Here though, there is potential if my string was to snap, the dummy would take a bit of a drop, uh, shock load the carabiners which would not be great. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to get my gree on and I'm going to connect that to the highest anchor point that I can and I'm going to go into his chest again. So it's going to keep the casualty nice and upright and there's just less stuff getting in the waist steering. So I can now start stripping out the casualty's connections. So, flat cow's tail comes off. And now I want to think about getting them up and out of the short connection. Now there are loads of different ways of doing this. This method I'm going to use with a bit of string and that way it works whether the carabiner is opening at the bottom or the top. Uh, there's a nifty method you can use that opens the gate and flicks the carabiner out but that's only going to work well if the carabiner is the other way around. So I'm going to go with the string here. So I'm going to choke the string directly round the harness. Now you don't want to be tying cow's tails and things round here, but for a one-off lift with a difficult rescue like this, it's going to be fine. So I've choked the string, and I'm going to put the string up through the eyes. If there was two carabiners, you could go through the second carabiner, but I'm going to go up through the eyes of the sling, round through the D-ring, and back round through the eyes. So I'm getting a three to one and I'm just going to take my time and put the bit of cord that's going to take the weight when I stand on it at the bottom of those two. Like so. So it's a little bit fiddly getting it set up. I'm going to undo the carabiner just now and to lift I'm going to put my hand ascender on the cord, fold the foot loop in half, and stand in there. Now this generally works a bit better if you can open up the carabiner before you lift. Get stood up, you can always have a knee underneath them to help them up. Take them out of the carabiner, and I'm going to lower them down using the cord onto the grill. Okay, so he's now at a good height. To get my normal short connection, I can lower him off on the grill on. Tighten that weight. And then same as normal, friction carabiner on. Just do a final check to make sure you haven't left any cow's tails or anything that you might get stuck on. And then you can descend.